Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the arithmetic mean versus the geometric mean. So the means I'll denote with this x bar, and if I have the arithmetic mean I'm going to denote it with this a, and if I've got the geometric mean I'm going to denote it with this g. So when we're talking arithmetic and geometric, kind of arithmetic means that we've got this addition happening over time, so we might have uh, one point here and then we'll add to it, say another point, and over time we're going to form this straight line, whereas geometric means over time we're getting this geometric pattern emerge, so we've got one point and then we're adding to it, and then we're adding to it, uh, and we're for forming this curved line over time. So at the top we're getting this geometric happening, and in the bottom we're getting this arithmetic. So what we want to look at doing is calculating the arithmetic and the geometric mean for say this series of numbers here. So we've looked at the arithmetic mean before, there's a video on this and it says if you take these four numbers, you take the sum of your x observations, so the sum of xi, and these are your x observations here, and you divide it by n, which is the number of x observations, this will give you your arithmetic mean. So for this series here, what we do is we take 150, we add 120, we add 100, and we add 80, and then we divide it by the total number of observations. So in this instance here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 observations, so we divide it by our n, and n is going to be equal to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we divide it by 4. Our arithmetic mean is going to be 150 plus 120 is 270, plus 100 is 370, plus 80 is 450. And then we divide that by 4, so we're going to get this arithmetic mean which comes out to be 112.50, which is what we get if we simplify this down, or 112 and a half. So then we get our geometric mean, and our geometric mean is a little different. So conceptually it says that if we had a number, and I'll just call it x, and we multiplied it 1, 2, 3, 4 times by itself. So if we had a number and we times it by itself 4 times, so we had x to the power of 4, which is just this geometric mean. So this geometric mean, and we take it to the power of 4, xg multiplied by, and these dots just mean multiplied by. So if we had this geometric mean, and we multiplied it by 4, this would be equal to all of these numbers here, multiplied together. So if we took our 150, we multiplied that by 120, we multiplied that by 100, and we multiplied this by 80. So if we said if we had some average number, and we multiplied it together four times, it would equal all these numbers multiplied together. So what we say is that if we, we have this geometric mean, x bar g to the power of 4, we, we have these numbers, it equals to you know 150 times 120 times 100 times 80. So if we actually work that on a calculator, 150 times 120 times 100 times 80, uh, we can see that equals 1, 4, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 14 million, 400,000. So we have this number, we take it, we multiply it by itself four times to 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to get 14.4 million. We can say that our geometric mean, x by g, if we want to find what that number is, then we need to multiply, we need to, to find this, this is basically x bar times g to the power of 1. We multiply this, by a quarter, uh, we take it to a power of a quarter, sorry, and then we take this side to a power of a quarter. So x by g is going to be equal to our 14.4 million to the power of a quarter. We work out that our geometric mean is just going to be equal to 109.45. So 109.45. So that's how we work out our geometric mean. We just take these four numbers, multiply them together, and then we put it to the power of 1 on n. 
So 1 on n, where n is just the number of terms, and that gives you the geometric mean. So what you guys can see, and I'm going to get rid of this geometric mean stuff down here, is that we had this geometric mean here of 109.45, and then we had this arithmetic mean of 112.50. So this is our arithmetic, and this is our geometric. So what you can see is the arithmetic is larger than the geometric mean. So what we'll note is that because of a geometric sequence, the nature that it gets bigger over time, it's always going to be smaller than our arithmetic mean. So geometric means are always smaller than our arithmetic means. And that's just a little, a little factoid. So if ever you're asked to work out the arithmetic and the geometric mean, and your geometric mean comes out to be larger, then you've just got a calculation in there it always has to be smaller than your arithmetic mean, just by nature. So that's how we work out geometric and arithmetic means. I'll put out some examples for you guys to have a go at.